This is a video series where I become more ARMY. I learn as much as I can, as fast as I can about everything BTS related. And today's video is part of that series on a reaction of the Grammys. But before I get into that, thank you to all the new subscribers. I'll pull this up on the screen somewhere. There are 847 new subscribers as of this week. Almost 20% of all you new subscribers have come from the Philippines. So fun fact about the Philippines, it's awesome. That's the fun fact. Fun fact is I'd said on my other video, the Philippine Eagle is one of the largest eagles in the world. Did you guys know that? Second city runner up is Indonesia, followed by, of course, yours truly. I live in the United States and let's not forget about Malaysia and India. So thank you to all the new subscribers. Oh, would you look at that? Most of you are females. 64% are women. Most of you are 35 to 44 years old. So, hey, I see you. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Now, if you want to follow me on my journey to becoming more army, please subscribe right now and tap that button next to it, the bell, so you get notified of my reaction uploads. Let's get to the video. I'm Scott Goldman, and this is the Grammy Museum's Programs at Home. You know, I'm not sure there are enough superlatives in any language to describe the success of our guests today. I can think of one, They're that's dynamite. They're the most dynamite. successful K-pop act in U.S. chart history, with a devoted global following eager to hear every new single and album. That's us. They're the first K-pop group to perform on the Grammy stage, and recently set a record when over three quarters of a million people tuned into their online concert. Their most recent album, Map of the Soul 7, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. And they're here today First thing off the bat, the of this dude's video quality is Dynamite. absolutely pixelated. BTS, we're so glad you're with us today. Here we are. BTS. BTS. Yeah. Hi, Sky, Grammy Museum. Long Dynamite. Time nice, nice. Um, so I want to start, I want to start by asking RM, uh, you know, every interview that I do or have done even in the last four or five months, I end up starting off by asking and talking Ooh. about quarantine. She so, made looks so, so how good. Are you doing with quarantine? Um, she uh, like in February and March, we also got like quite angry and sad and desperate. But, um, you know, as time goes by, we decided to focus on what we can do. So it was just, you know, always, it's always been the music and the, and the performance. So we actually have been focusing on um, working on a new album and this single and the choreography as well. And like personally, uh, we've been developing our own personal hobbies, like playing guitars, like painting, drawing, um, yeah, learning instruments. I'm watering the plants. Watering the plants, nice. <laughs> I like the I like the watering the plants part. I've been doing that myself around here too. Yeah, um, me, me awesome. and the interviewer both. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's um, it gets me out of the house anyway. Um, <laughs> JK is like, you, I'm not interested. I, I know you recently released one of your own solo projects, and I'm wondering during this time in particular, is it has it been a chance to kind of really focus on writing? and your own creative process. Wait, did an American interviewer just ask Yoongi about his solo work as August D? That is, we are progressing in the right direction right now and I really, I'm starting to like this interviewer. Um, th this question is for Jamin. Uh, let let's talk about the new single. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Did he just call him Jamin? <laughs> okay, all right. Gold Dynamite. This is the first time you've done a song completely in English. And I know there was, there was a time when the thinking was that might not be a BTS thing to do. Why was this now the right time to do a song in English. Oh, okay, I'm, I don't want to keep pausing. I know a lot of you hate it when I pause the videos, but can we just talk about how 
gorgeous Jimin looks right now. Or should I say Jimin looks? How gorgeous does Jimin look? Oh my goodness. The memes are true, man. The the memes online are absolute truth. He is Mr. Steal Your Heart, no matter your preferences and orientation. Well, and, and on that, on that, with that in mind, uh, J-Hope, each, was so sweet. each of your albums and singles have, there's a theme or a through line. Um, uh, to you, what, what, what's the theme of Dynamite? Uh, and it sure has. It sure has. You know, um, uh, RM, I'm going to come back to you. I, I really like this interviewer so far. He's asking a lot of poignant questions. And I mean, this is an American interview show, right? And I don't think in the past American interviewers have been known to ask thoughtful questions. Well-researched questions. This guy knows what he's asking, actually. Apart, aside from pronouncing the names, Jimin, Jimin's name wrong, <laughs> everything else is on point. And I like that he asked Yoongi about his solo work, and then literally almost the next question asked J-Hope about his singles and his solo albums as well. You, uh, you know, given, given the challenges that people face today, the pandemic, um, and certainly um, in, the, in a cultural sense in the United States, we're going through a lot of issues with respect to social justice, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of cultural upheaval. Um, do you feel yep. it's more important uh, right now for the group to be putting out new music? Um, due to these unfortunate times, we had to change many plans as well. And um, as artists who connect with our listeners on stage, we felt disparate to, as well. So in the middle of all that, we came across Dynamite. We thought it could be something new to break out of this state. And we saw and we felt many um, armies all, all over the world felt the same, t feeling the same um, emotions as well. So I think we thought that it's a, it could be a song that can lift everybody's mood up right away. And we also got so much energy from it, and we are still hoping um, that this song could give as as much as energy. V, let me oh. let me ask you. Um, uh, you, you know, in in terms of of this particular song, you know, I had an artist once tell me that that every song <laughs> or album that he made was oh my gosh. a reaction. You're such a visual to the last song or album that that he recorded and uh, is is dynamite in any way a reaction to the music that you had recorded for map of the soul seven not really i'd rather say that the song is a reaction to the current pandemic situation we wanted to keep people energy throw singing and dancing which is what we do best. Let, let, me, uh, let me follow up on that and say what kind, of, what kind of feedback are you getting from your fans? As I, I mentioned in the open, um, you have a, this, this incredible army all over the world. Of incredible. Fans. What kind of feedback are you getting 
about the song? You know, physically um, and visually, we got so many positive feedback, like like views or the charts. But you know, but let's just get get out of all of that. Um, for me, um, I've I've actually there are a lot of armies around me, like uh, friends, um, sisters, brothers, and they told me that. Yo, this is the this is the, the correct song that I just need right now in this hot summer. And Korea is like really hot. We've heard that New York is hot too. And in this hot weather, everybody's like desperate because of this pandemic or weather or whatever. Um, we uh, this is the song that I actually needed, and I'm and I'm listening to it like while driving or while watering the plants or like waking up, like washing, our fa washing their faces. So yeah, that's the, that's the feedback and uh, that we expected. So, yep. So I think it's going quite well. Sugan, let me ask you, um, I, I want to talk about the sound of the song, the sound of Dynamo. I don't want to pause when BTS talk so i'm gonna pause when he's asking questions to, to go along with what he asked rm i think i absolutely agree with that dynamite brightens my day it's become part of my morning ritual when i wake up even though i don't commute to work it's funny because before the coronavirus pandemic i like every other working man i would drive to work i would drive sit in traffic for an hour drive to work get to the office around nine in the morning and have my coffee that was my my ritual in the commute during the drive to work, I would listen to BTS. So that's a little history about me and how how I I found BTS. It was actually through my little sister who introduced me to BTS and that, that video game that's no longer supported called Superstar BTS, which I played a lot of. And that's what actually exposed me to all of their music at a very uh, early time in my in my journey here. But I never really got into the lyrics, got into the theories and the meaning behind things. It was just sort of um, like I, I didn't have any kind of drive pushing me towards that deep dive just yet. So now that ritual has shifted instead of going listening to BTS in the car on the radio on Spotify. I would right now I, I would listen to it at home. So I'd wake up instead of commuting, I'd wake up, put BTS on. On my playlist, this is BTS, my favorite playlist on Spotify, and I get ready. I have a Amazon dot in my shower, which plays it in the bathroom. And one more thing, he okay, so he pronounced Jimin's wrong. J J call, called him Jimin, and then now he called uh, Suga, Suga, I believe. That's funny. My sonically, um, how how does I caught it differ that from end. previous releases? 어, 특히 이번에는 이제 디스코 풍의 음악이다 보니까 여태 저희가 해보지 않았던 스타일의 곡이 갔었어가지고 음. 녹음할 때도 마찬가지고 또 믹스할 때도 마찬가지고 되게 여러 가지 시도들을 많이 해봤던 것 같아요. 어, 특히나 뭐 디스코 같은 경우는 저희가 이제 듣고 자란 세대가 아니다 보니까 어, 굉장히 좀, 좀 고심 끝에 이제 녹음도 굉장히 여러 번 많이 했었었고 어, 사운드적으로도 it, but let, let me follow up on that. It, it, is is the idea because disco is not something that you that you would necessarily um, uh, default to? Um, do you like to experiment with sound and styles? 특히 이제 뭐 저희가 믹스를 했을 때 이제 여러 엔지니어한테 동시에 받는 경우들도 있고. 그리고 뭐 저희가 항상 작업을 할때 그리고 계속해서 수정을 해요. 그러니까 이제 마음에 안 들거나 아쉬운 부분들은 계속 awesome. 수정을 하는 편이고. This is so behind the scenes. 꽤나 좀 많이 사운드적으로 좀 고심을 했었죠. 그 다행히도 많이들 좋아해 주신 것 같아가지고 <웃음> 다행이라고 생각합니다. Mm. J-Hope, um, let me ask you. I, I, I read that the choreography to Dynamite is simpler. Um, now, this is not something that I would that I would organically know. I am not much of a dancer. But what what does what does that allow you to do that that more complex choreography might not? Well, 일단 가장 중요한 거는 많은 분들이 쉽게 따라할 수 있는 게 시그나무의 가장 좀 매력. I'm so sorry. I'm pausing when J Hope is speaking. That is such an insightful question. 
about the simplicity. And I noticed that too with, with Dynamite. And that's J-Hope just said it right there. It's it's for people to learn. So not only are they sharing the energy and excitement through the music, but they also purposely and intentfully made the choreography shareable as well. Because let's fit, let's be honest, not every one of uh, not every one of us, as I stumble my words, are great dancers like like the boys are. So I, I think this is this is this just shows how much they care about us as fans, in that they didn't have to make it a simple choreography. In fact, they could have made it really difficult and visually pe- appealing for for music videos, but they didn't do that. They made the original dynamite choreography simple so that we can take part and share along. It's so wholesome. Well, Uh,あんまりでいいじゃ、ポニネ特性を取り入れるっていう部分に、と、いいじゃないかしっこよ。これと、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、